I'm working with a three thread wide overlock on this machine today. The needle is the left hand needle of eliminated right needle so that's not in there and I'm using a regular Gutterman sew all thread. I'm using a sew all thread in there. Um, I'm using a size 80 needle because I'm using a medium weight cotton and I'm using the two looper threads so that makes my three threads. So the left needle and the two loopers is a three thread wide overlock because I'm using the left needle. So um, I'm using tape. So I've cut out two in the main fabric and two in the lining fabric. Again, with this, use a different fabric for the lining because then the wearer knows which is the inside of the mask and which is the outside. This one has a pocket. So the pocket uh, for the filters is on the sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to start and we're going to surge along the front of the mask. So I've got the knife engaged. Stitch length is three. You can make it narrower, narrower if you want to and differential feed because it's a cotton, it's going to be just a regular differential uh, feed setting at one, nothing special there. All my factory settings are here. Um, this should be on four, but it's not in there anyway. So factory settings, all the tensions are on four. I've set the knife to wide at the moment just so that I've got a wider space for my wire when I do the nose part. But other, other than that, um, it should really be on five. So let's surge around the edge of the front of the masks. I'm going to disengage the knife now. So if I get rid of the knife, Make sure it's nicely out of the way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the tape to the sides. So just fold that over and I'm going to notch, very tiny notch there, where the middle is, the middle point of there. Find the centre point of one of the pieces of string. You can mark it if you want to. Like that. And then just lay that down there for a moment while we just fold over the fabric that we're going to uh, stitch over. It's got to be folded over the wrong side, is this side, isn't it, with the overlocking. So fold it over like this. Press that if you want to, but finger press should do it. Place that where the notch is your fabric and fold that over like that okay now because of the thread settings the upper looper is my red I'm going to flip it this way if you've set it with the lower looper in your color you can uh, do it the other way so just lift the needle and foot out of the way shimmy that in start with the ribbon or go straight into the fabric so I can see the start of the fabric just be before the needle and just surge. Make sure it's all covered up, push it in, press the foot down and surge. So there's your front mask. Now with the back, with the lining, we're just going to fold this over a couple of times and just surge that. So this time I'm folding over twice. match good sides together like this and we're going to surge along the top and the bottom so you would need to match the midpoint first and then surge all the way down and just keep that tape out of the way
can do the same at the top. So just match up the seams at the top like that and keep that tape out of the way. So that's your mask done. All we need is the wire placement. So you can go and press that. Okay, so you want to take some of the bulk away from there. Just remove some of that away. And then what I can do is mark five centimeters along the width of here. So I've got five centimeters there, and I've got five centimeters there. do is just loosen some of those threads and tie them together. So just make it smaller chain like that. And that's done. You've got your 10 centimeter wire which you can sort of feed in. We end up with a shape. These masks are just as strong as those sewn, so don't feel that they're not, and they are quicker to make. And they do look messier.